And he's talking about all the pretty women in the crowd, which prompted this next guy to have me remind you ladies that he is HIV negative. <laughs> Let's give it up for Matt Kahn. Say, Zach, just make me look cool. <laughs> make me look cool. But I guess that kind of makes me like reckless. Took a few chances, but everything still worked out. <laughs> HIV is so awkward. <laughs> it's even awkward in the alphabet. A B C D E F G H I O J O. How's everyone doing? Yeah. Thanks for coming out. Um, recently, uh, I started a job downtown Detroit. Uh, one thing before I started, they're like, "Oh, you're gonna love it down there. You don't have to stop at any red lights." <laughs> Which is great until you get pulled over. And I, 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 why'd you run my red light? I was told it was cool. <laughs> I'm new here. Other than I did, I started a job down there, and. Uh, it's funny when they find out that you're in comedy, every, anytime something fun around the office happens, everyone's like, you're going to use that in your set? <laughs> you're going to use that tonight? You're going to use that in your set? Like, oh yeah, everybody's going to lose their shit when I tell them Gary dropped chicken salad on his keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> Although I guess that works, so maybe I can start with that. Uh, you know what really bugs me is sports, sports names, the team names, like the LA Lakers. I'm pretty sure that there is uh, no lakes in LA, and I'm also pretty sure that there's a water shortage in LA. So I'm like, is this like ironic names? Is this ironic names? So I started. I tried to think of a couple other ironic names, like um, like the New Jersey safe sex havers, <laughs> or the uh, Kentucky readers. <laughs> Utah normal people. <laughs> There's always, of course, the Atlanta white people. Uh, something you guys should know about me? I, I'm, uh, I'm kind of lazy. Uh, there's no lazier way to say that you're lazy than saying kind of lazy. <laughs> I'm too lazy to even commit to saying that I'm lazy. I'm, not, I'm lazy. I like to get out of things before I even do it. So if someone's like, hey, you want to come to the barbecue on Sunday? I come up with a, uh, an excuse in advance. Like, yeah, absolutely, I'll be there about four. I do, however, uh, I am going horseback riding beforehand. <laughs> so then the party comes, like, yeah, Matt's not coming. Then I just called him. Fucking kicked in the face by a horse. <laughs> Makes sense, though. He told me he was going horseback riding. I'm fine. <laughs> also, being on perceived effort, I like to actually uh, pretend I'm going to do something more than actually do it. So if I'm talking and you drop something, I'll wait that split second before you go down to pick it up and then pretend that I was doing it. <laughs> or, uh, even if I'm alone, it doesn't have to be in front of anybody, I'll, I'll brush the crumbs off the counter at home and then walk right past the garbage and just <laughs> brush it right off. The one thing that I'm big on that I like to take my time with is pranks. I'm digging the pranks. Uh, my favorite prank is I like to get off the phone with somebody and then call them right back and try to have the exact same conversation. <laughs> Another fun one is to, if you're at a friend's party, go into like the, the bedroom that's off their bed, the bathroom that's off their bedroom, and just put toilet paper, toilet paper down on their seat. So later that night when they go to bed, they're like, who came in here and used the, and used the toilet? And they're like, who came in here and used the toilet and thinks that we're dirty? <laughs> But I, I have, I guess I have my big joke that I'm saving for the end, and I, I want to, uh, I have this friend that I've known my whole life, we've been best friends since like third grade, Danny, um, known him forever, so I have this last prank that I want to pull on him, and I'm saving it for when I'm dead, um, so I get the final one, and what it is, it's a letter, and it's confessing my love to him. Being that we're both straight, this should kind of blow his mind, so I want to share it with you guys, let me know what you think. I also rolled it up scroll form, so it looks official. <laughs> Alright. Dear Dan, sorry that you're reading this letter because that means that I'm dead. I'm also sorry that I never got the chance to tell you that I love you. Not love like a brother. <laughs>
<laughs> Love like I want to watch you change out of a wet bathing suit. <laughs> Remember all those times I'd call you and then I'd call you right back and try to have the same conversation? <laughs> I was really calm to tell you this. <laughs> Do you also remember when Phil Summers pulled your pants down in ninth grade gym class and everyone saw your wiener? I love that day. <laughs> I remember uh, sometimes when we were watching football together, I'd imagine we were tickling each other's forearms while taking Cosmo Soulmate quizzes. <laughs> I bet your spit tastes like blue raspberry. <laughs> I have often wondered what your mustache feels like. <laughs> no, this is the part though. Uh, he's actually, he doesn't have a mustache, but I figure by the time I die, he's going to grow on at some point. <laughs> so, I've often wondered what your mustache feels like on the small of my back. <laughs> I love you. Thanks for the butters. <laughs> Hey, thank you so much for coming out and raising that guy.